this is Ms. Bailey again with the Knox County Public Library Tutor Team. And I'm here today with a math video lesson covering kindergarten and first grade standards. In today's math video lesson, we are going to be focusing on computation and algebraic thinking. And here are a couple of the academic kindergarten and first grade standards that are highlighted in this lesson. If you are interested in checking out um, other specific academic standards, you can visit the IDOE website that is listed right here. In today's math video lesson, we are going to be looking for patterns so that we can identify how a sequence is changing. Our goal will be achieved when we complete a shape or a number sequence correctly. If you wish to participate along with this video, you can grab a piece of paper and a pencil. Um, optional, one of the tools that we'll be talking a lot about in today's lesson is the use of a number grid. So if you have one of those handy at home, great. If not, I will be showing one on the screen frequently. Before we get started with today's lesson, I want to go over some of the vocabulary that we're going to be um, referring to a lot. And one of the words that we are going to be focusing on is pattern. Um, patterns are everywhere. And as you can see, we can spy patterns in all kinds of things, in nature, in numbers, in everyday things that we use, um, in shapes. They're all over the place. So friends, whether you are going into kindergarten or first grade, you are a mathematician. And mathematicians need to have a good vocabulary. So let's talk about another word that we will use as um, our math for our math lesson today, which is sequence. So what is a sequence? And I know the first thing that comes to my head are those really pretty, shiny um, beads beads that you might see on different decorations or clothings, but the sequence that we're talking about today is what you can find in the order of a set of things. Okay, so if a sequence is repeating, it is a pattern. So let's remember, today we're looking for patterns so that we can identify how a sequence or the order of something is changing. And our goal will be achieved when we complete a shape or a number sequence correctly. So let's get warmed up with this shape sequence right here. Can you complete this shape sequence? And I would suggest that you pause. This is a good point to pause so that you can take a look and spy any patterns that you see. And you can use your pencil and paper, even if you want to um, use some crayons or markers or colored pencils to complete this shape pattern, or you can just say the name of the shape and the color that it is out loud. Okay, let's check and see how you did. So one of the things I like to do when I'm looking for patterns in a sequence to complete a shape or number sequence is to say what I'm seeing out loud. So in this first sequence, I see a pink square, a yellow lightning bolt, pink square, yellow lightning bolt, and then I kind of get in a rhythm like a song where it's easier for me to identify what's going to be coming next. So if you found these shapes as the next shapes to complete this shape sequence, then you were correct. And again, you can always go back and pause, try again. Um, if you want a little extra challenge, you can continue to extend then these shape patterns and sequences on your own. Now that we have looked at some shape sequences, we're going to take a look at some number sequences. So can you find the pattern and complete these number sequences? Again, this would be a great time to pause. Uh, you can get your piece of paper and pencil to complete this pattern, or if you would rather, you can just say what would be next in the sequence out loud. Okay, let's check, see how you did. Again, I like to say the numbers that I'm seeing out loud because it, it's kind of like a song um, where I can get into the rhythm of the 
of a song or the beat of a song, and it's easier for me to know what's coming next. So if you're looking at this first number sequence, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and then what comes next? Three, very good. So again, you can pause and check your work using your pencil and paper, or if you would like, you could just say what will come next in the number sequence out loud. The important thing is that you are trying to spy those patterns in these number sequences. Are you noticing what's happening in these shape and number sequences? So before we go further in our math video lesson today, uh, there's some more mathematician vocabulary that I want to go over with you. When we are trying to spy patterns with numbers, a lot of the times we can find those patterns by seeing differences in if the numbers are getting bigger or larger. So another word for bigger is larger or smaller if the numbers are getting smaller. So in math, as a good mathematician, it's important to know what the signs of math are, the symbols in math. So two symbols that you may think of a lot whenever you're noticing what's happening in a pattern or a sequence with numbers is if it's getting bigger by using addition or if it's getting smaller and taking away with the subtraction sign. So when we add, our numbers get bigger, they increase. And when we subtract or take away, the numbers get smaller or decrease. One of my favorite mathematician tools is a number grid. So we're gonna talk about how to use a number grid as a mathematician tool. Now, I want you to just take a look at this. Now's a good time to pause. And do you notice any special things about the number grid? Do you notice any patterns? What do you notice? One of the things that you may have noticed is that this, the number grid has rows and rows go from side to side. Uh, with the rows, you might notice that as you read the numbers, you go from left to right, just like we read. You may have also noticed that the number grid has columns and columns are kind of like an elevator. They go up and down. Where rows go from side to side, columns go up and down. If you were paying really extra special attention to the columns, you may have noticed that the columns have numbers that end in the same digit. Super cool. So as we're looking at number patterns and sequencing today, I want to remind you that when you're reading the number grid, you go from left to right, just like we read or just like we write our names. And the rows that are going side to side, they count by ones. And each row is a row of 10. So once we count to 10, we have to go to the next row. So if you look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, that row ends. So you have to go down and to the beginning of the next row to 11, and then you keep going on, counting on from left to right, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So to review how to read the number grid and counting on from 10, this would be a good place to stop and pause to look at how the number grid flows as you're reading it. And remember that the numbers go from left to right all the way to the end of the row, counting by tens, and then you have to go down and back to the beginning of the next row and read from left to right. Once we get to 10, we can go to the next row. So here's a little bit more practice. If you have counted on from 10 and you've gone to the next row from 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
then again, you're going to go down into the next row and start at the very left and count on to the right. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So this is a good time to pause and kind of go over that. Also, it never hurts to practice counting. So remember when we were talking about how um, numbers might change by getting larger or bigger, um, or how they might change by getting smaller, and how mathematicians need to know these symbols, the addition sign and the subtraction sign. Well, these symbols are gonna come in handy when you're thinking about using the number grid as a tool to help you find the number sequence. So some questions that you might ask yourself as you're noticing patterns in a number sequence is, are they getting bigger? Are they getting smaller? If they're getting bigger, how much bigger? And if they're getting smaller, how much smaller? All right, so we're getting ready to get into some of the meat of our lesson. And I wanna remind you that you are looking for patterns so that you can identify how a sequence is changing. And our goal will be achieved when you complete a shape or number sequence correctly. So are you ready? Let's get into some number sequences. So now would be a good time to grab your pencil and paper and if you have a number grid, again, if you don't, no big deal. I'm gonna put one up on the screen for you so that you can complete these, these problems looking at it. So if you look at this first sequence, zero, one, two, three, four, and ask yourself, what's happening to those numbers? Are they getting bigger? If they are, how much bigger? So I'm gonna go ahead and give you some time to pause this. You can write down these sequences on your paper with your pencil and go ahead and pause to look at the number grid to see if it helps you complete this. There are so many helpful math tools. Um, like I said, today the one that I want to encourage you to use is a number grid. You'll notice a number grid is a lot like a number line. So let's check your work. Here are the correct answers to those number sequences. How did you do? Great job. Now remember, all I want is your best. So if you are doing your very best, then I am so proud of you. I'm so proud of you for um, putting some time into your math skills today. Let's check out another sequence. Um, I made it a little bit different. So you'll notice that there aren't as many numbers in these sequences. And there's more missing in the middle of the sequence. So again, What's happening to the numbers? Are they getting bigger? Are they getting smaller? If they're getting bigger, how much bigger? So go ahead and pause and solve. And let's check and see how you did. How did you do? All right, if you're thinking, Miss Bailey, these number sequences are easy peasy. Let's kick it up a notch. Well, let's do it. So here are some number sequences that if you notice, our, our number sequences from the previous practice problems were getting bigger and they were getting bigger by one. Now these are a little bit different. They are getting bigger by more than one. So go ahead and pause and solve. What pattern do you see and how are these numbers changing? Let's check and see how you did. So if you found that the numbers were getting bigger by two and these were the numbers that you used to complete these number sequences, great job. Now if you're still a little bit um, confused, I always want you to pause, go back, and, and re-watch if you need help in moving on. 
Um, these videos are not a one size fit, fits all. So if you need extra practice in one particular spot of the video, then go back and use that as many times as you need. These videos are also um, differentiated so that they are able to provide for the academic standards for both kindergartners and first graders. Okay, here's another number sequence. And again, these are going up. I want you to pay attention. How, how are they going up? When the numbers are going up, they are getting bigger or increasing. So using the number grid, take a look and see how those numbers are jumping. Are they jumping up by one, twos, what's happening? And complete those numbers sequences. All right, let's check. All right, so going back to our goal for today, we were looking for patterns. And like we said, patterns are everywhere, everywhere in the real world. We're looking for patterns so that we can identify how a sequence is changing. And our goal will be achieved when we complete a shape or number sequence correctly. And uh, I don't know who needs to hear this, but you just completed both shape and number sequences, friends. So very good job. I had so much fun with you today. Mm -hmm.